Oh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Friday. And um, hopefully, for us here in Brisbane, the last day of uh, our lockdown. And uh, this might be a familiar sight for a lot of parents. There's the trampoline, there's the shoes, there's the wet grass. It rained overnight, and yet my girls stubbornly refused to come and get their shoes. And why are there so many pairs? I have no clue. Uh, there's uh, Edward and Ginger over here, the guinea pigs. And um, stubbornness can be one of our biggest undoings. <coughs> And we all have an element of it where somewhere where we'll dig out our heels and um, refuse to do something. You know, I said to the girls, your shoes are going to get wet out there in the rain. You better bring them in. To which I was replied, sure, Dad, we'll, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Well, obviously it didn't. And when they go looking for shoes this morning, um, yeah, <laughs> you know the result. And stubbornness seems to be a, an element, um, a common element, uh, through those talked about in the Bible, um, and just their, their response to God. You know, Pharaoh stubbornly holds out um, because of his own pride um, against God, and it costs him um, dearly. Um, but I want to look at a positive story where stubbornness. <coughs> is an element there, but then there's a massive change. And there's several places I could have gone to for that. But the one I wanted to look at this morning is found in Daniel. And in this, everything's wet out here. It's in Daniel chapter four. And it's the part of the story where, uh, part of where uh, Nebuchadnezzar has this dream about this tree that gets chopped down, is bound up. Daniel explains to him, unless you turn from your wicked ways, Nebuchadnezzar, unless you acknowledge the God in heaven, then this is going to happen to you. Um, it will be you. Your kingdom will be torn from you. You will be thrown out into the field. You'll, you'll become like a beast. <clears throat> Nebuchadnezzar doesn't listen to this. And when he's out one morning walking across the city walls of Babylon, he looks out at Babylon and he goes, look at this great Babylon that I have made. And instantly, he goes mad. Instantly, he loses his kingdom. He's thrown out. He grows his nails long. He becomes like a beast of the field, feeding like an oxen on grass, it describes. His hair grows out. He becomes not himself anymore. And it's because of his stubbornness. He wanted to hold on to the fact that he was the boss. He was in charge. He, he was in control. Until one day. And I'll just read this bit to you. From verse 34. Daniel chapter 4, verse 34. After this time had passed, I, Nebuchadnezzar, looked up into heaven. My sanity returned. And I praised and worshipped the Most High and honoured the one who lives for, forever. His rule is everlasting and his kingdom is eternal. All the people of the earth are nothing compared to him. He does as he pleases among the angels of heaven, among the peoples of the earth. No one can stop him or say to him, what do you mean by doing these things? When my sanity returned to me, so did my honour, my glory and my kingdom. My advisers and my nobles sought me out and I was restored as the head of my kingdom with even greater honour than before. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, Praise glor and, glor and glory, glorify and honour the King of Heaven. All his acts are just and true, and he is able to humble the proud. And Nebuchadnezzar gets it. Where Pharaoh failed to get it, <coughs> where others failed to get it, Nebuchadnezzar gets it. He's just a man who's been given a place of authority. Morning, Kara. He's a man, just a man, who just happens to have been put in a position, raised up by God, to fulfil a purpose. And that purpose was to interact with God's people, to bring God's people back from their stubbornness. Remember, Babylon was sent. Babylon was raised up and sent to correct the Israelites for having walked away from God, for having become stubborn. 
and the more stubborn they got, the more the Babylonian crisis was needed. And the Babylonians took them into captivity to, to humble them. Nebuchadnezzar needed to be humbled. You and I, in our lives, need to be humbled. At times we're stubborn, we're, we're stuck, we are ill-tempered, we are hard-hearted. <clears throat> you and I can be in our own Babylonian crisis, needing God to come in and do something drastic in our lives to get our attention and to get us back onto the path. My encouragement, my advice, my counsel, the instruction from scriptures, don't let it get to that. Jesus says daily, take up your cross and carry it. And carrying the cross is, a, is an act of humility. It's a humbleness. <clears throat> it's a recognition of who it was who, who died on a cross for you. We are no better than anybody else. We are just raised to positions not to be better than or greater than, but to glorify God in heaven, to proclaim the everlasting gospel, to, to bring into a broken world the light of God, to share, not because we're special, but we're raised up as a people to bring that message to a world that needs it. So don't go through your Nebuchadnezzar moment. Acknowledge who God is, that he, he does all things to his purpose, and who are we to question that? We are there to, to be the ones glorifying him, not to be glorified. We are the ones to raise him up, not to raise ourselves up. So, and each Sabbath as we lead into this Sabbath is a reminder of just who is in control, of just who is our creator, and just where we sit. Yes, we're special. Yes, we're saved. We are no greater than anybody else around us. We are no better than anything else. We are special because God says we are, so that we can give glory to Him. And once again, to share that with somebody else. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the rain that has fallen overnight. <clears throat> thank you, Lord, for what you have done and what you are doing for us. And Lord, help us to understand that and put that in a perspective, not so that we are great or brilliant or better than, but Lord, that we actually recognize you as our sustainer. And Lord, I pray that you give us the strength this day and give us the humbleness this day to praise your holy name. And Lord, as we are blessed in that, may we find ways to bless others, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, from the shoes on the ground to you, um, for those uh, that attend Pine Rivers, for those of you who are um, waiting eagerly on the news, as soon as I know something, I will let you know um, our plan at the moment has been to release the link and progress as normal um, but we will wait on the on the um, um, information or the news from the, from the government this morning uh, to see where that stands and I'll let you know as soon as I can but until then take care god bless and I will see you all soon